Since I was a little boy, one of my favorite dishes is chicken pot pie. I don't care what the season or the time of year, I love this recipe and it's such great comfort food. But making it from scratch can be a real challenge. That's where half homemade and supermarket shortcuts come to your rescue. Now, if you don't buy any other supermarket shortcut, please buy rotisserie chickens every single week. I buy a couple each week and keep them on hand in my fridge because they go in so many recipes. And the best part about them, they're already seasoned, they're already cooked, and they shred so easily. They go really well into so many of your dishes. We're going to start with a great big stock pot and we're going to fill it up with lots of supermarket shortcuts. This recipe is loaded with them. Now, the first thing we're going to do is take that pre shredded dark and white meat rotisserie chicken and pop it right inside. Then you're going to take a 16 ounce bag of frozen vegetables. They can still be frozen when they go into the pot. This is green beans, carrots, and a little corn. Then, this is where lots of your chicken flavor comes in. This is cream of chicken condensed soup, but it also has plenty of sodium inside, so you're not going to add any extra salt to this recipe. So in goes the soup. While there's plenty of salt in that soup, there is no pepper, so we're going to add some freshly ground black pepper. And then finally, two cups of chicken broth, but be sure to buy the low sodium chicken broth. I love keeping chicken broth in my kitchen, and here's my little tip. Every time I make a recipe with chicken broth, I buy twice as much as I need. So that way I use what I need for the recipe and then I put the extra back in my pantry. So if the next time I'm ready to make this pot pie and I don't have time to go to the market, I'm already stocked on chicken stock. Now the filling's been on the stove for about 10 or 15 minutes and it's now nice and bubbly warm. It's important that you warm this filling because when we tested this recipe, we found that the biscuit topping would brown and burn before the filling was warm all the way through in the oven. So we counteracted that problem by pre-warming the filling and then the biscuits get golden brown. I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to take, okay, that exploded. Well, I call these wampum biscuits and we call them that for a reason because you take the refrigerator biscuits, peel the paper off and usually wamp them on the countertop to open them up. Sometimes they open all by themselves. This is going to become our chicken pot pie topping. We're not going to make a homemade crust. We're going to use some poppin' fresh dough. So let's take our filling and get it into a 9 by 13 casserole dish. Once this is warmed, it'll pour in really nicely. There we are. Smooth this out. And here comes the easy part. No homemade crust, no fussing over flour and butter. We're just going to take these biscuits right out of the tube and lay them right on top. Because that filling's already nice and warm, these are going to brown up in the oven beautifully. The filling will continue to get nice and bubbly, and you're going to have chicken pot pie in no time. Then this is going to go into a 350 oven for about 30 minutes until the biscuits are all golden brown and ready to enjoy.